What constitutes a goal in hockey? There's a pretty simple answer for that, right? The puck just needs to fully cross the goal line for a goal to be awarded. Everyone knows that. But what if what you thought was a sure goal actually wasn't? I'm not talking about those shots that bounce off of a post really quick, almost as if they hit the back bar of the net, but something completely different entirely. The parallax angle. The parallax angle is a goal judge's worst nightmare. It can be defined as a displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight, and is measured by the angle or semi-angle of inclination between those two lines. So what does any of that mean? To put it simply, it means that this right here isn't a goal. Instead, it looks like the puck has fully crossed the line because of the angle at which we are looking at it, even though just a bit of the puck is still touching the red goal line. Wikipedia has a great picture of this example, where looking at the object from one point shows one background, and looking at it from another angle shows a different background. For another example, here I used an envelope as the goal line and the puck as, well, a puck. From this angle, it looks like the puck is just a little past the envelope, as we can see some space between them. But the overhead angle shows that there's just a little bit of puck left over the envelope, making it a no goal. So how can we make sure that the call is always right with this type of situation? Well, I guess the simple answer is to implement puck tracking around the nets. Putting a chip system inside the puck and some sort of tracking field within the post would help clarify whether a good goal was scored or not. Even just having a system like what's used in tennis and soccer to decide if a goal or if the ball's inbounds or not would help a lot as well. It's an evolving technology, but the NHL does have some sort of plan for this going forward. So let's just hope we don't have any more questions wondering whether it was in or not. So thanks for checking out the video, and with that, I'll see you in the next one.